What's going on, my soul family? Welcome to episode number 74. On today's episode, I will be discussing masculine and feminine energy to help you better understand these energies to really understand the dynamic of how they play in the relationship as well as your personal life. And please, if you haven't done so already, please rate, review, and subscribe to my podcast so you never miss any future content. And when you leave a rating review, you help me get to more people and reach my message out further. Thank you so much for being a part of this mission with me. I love you and I appreciate you. So when you hear masculine feminine energy, you think, maybe think, man, woman. Masculine man, feminine woman. But that's not always the case because all humans carry a masculine feminine energy, whether you're a man or a woman. It just so happens to be that most men carry more of a masculine energy, most women carry more of a feminine energy. And I just want to share quickly some of the traits of each energy with you. So masculine is knowing where it is, where it's going, and how it's going to get there. It's all about decisiveness. It's all about decision. It's all about freedom. It's all about present consciousness. It is the unwavering consciousness. That is the, the sacred masculine energy really is just grounded presence, certainty, clarity, structure, very built. It's all about building. It's all about achievement, about accomplishment. In our society, we live in a very masculine driven society. It's all about building business, building success, achievement, goals. And I think that this has created a huge imbalance because it's really suppressed the feminine energy, which is so beautiful. Feminine energy is life force. It is life in love itself. It is expression. It is singing. It is dancing. It is laughing. It is crying. It is emotions. It is energy in motion. That is feminine energy. It is compassion. It is nurturing. Things that men really love, they have suppressed within themselves, which I find really interesting. Like you love the feminine energy and you crave it so badly, but the farthest expression that most men get to with the feminine energy is through their penis, okay? So that can never fuel the feminine though because she wants to feel, the feminine wants to feel his divine masculine love, okay? That present consciousness. She wants to be ravished. She wants to be claimed. And if she doesn't feel it, then she will close her heart to him. And she will actually most likely start animating her own masculine energy when she doesn't trust his masculine energy, his ability to make a decision, his ability to claim her, his ability to be committed fully to her and open her heart to God and the universe, okay? These are very masculine traits. And what happens a lot of times when I see, when I work with with women or men in coaching, I see a woman that is very driven, very successful. And that's beautiful. I love that she's independent. She's goal oriented, but she hasn't learned how to turn that off. Okay. So she's always in her masculine and she animates so much masculine energy, but her core essence is feminine. Now this isn't always the case. And I really want to make this clear that women don't always have a core feminine essence. It just happens to be that they mostly have a feminine energy. Okay. But they also have masculine energy as well, the ability to do things, get things done. So what she does is she builds this successful lifestyle. She becomes independent. Maybe she's a mom of three kids and the husband left her. So she has to animate a lot of her own masculine energy. So when she does this and she goes to connect with a masculine partner, she either connects with a feminine man because you're going to re- Uh, attract to you your energetic reciprocal. She either attracts a feminine man or she repels a masculine man. Because remember, it's like magnets. When two magnets, positive, negative, come together, they're charged, okay? When a masculine, masculine comes together, it repels. Or they're just, it's a neutral, it's stagnant. It's like buddy, buddy. That's why you see guy friends. Like I have best friends that are guys that are very masculine and we're best friends, but there's no sexual attraction, right? There's no sexual attraction between me and the other men. That's not my choice, right? That's masculine energy. Now, when you have two feminines come together, like you see girls, very chatty, very lovey. There's a lot of feminine energy, a lot of love, a lot of flow, and they're buddy-buddy, but once again, there's not sexual attraction. 
So in a relationship, if you have a man who's in his feminine and a woman is who is in her feminine, very emotional, very expressive, and maybe isn't really certain, maybe very compassionate, compassionate and nurturing, they end up being very stagnant and stale with the sexual polarity because there's no energetic charge, there's no sexual polarity. But what it needs to make it work within the relationship is polarity, the masculine and feminine polarity. Look at how our world spins. There's a positive or there's a north and south pole, right? So when that's charged, our world is spinning. And it's the same thing within the dynamic of your relationship with a man or a woman. There has to be a masculine and feminine balance between the two. It can't be both on one side. And this doesn't matter if it's a man, man, woman, woman. I'm mostly talking about right now a relationship with a man and woman. So when that woman Maybe she doesn't trust his masculine energy. She starts animating her own masculine energy and it kills polarity between the two. And I see this happen so often because she's no longer trusting of his masculine energy, which I get it. I mean, yeah, if he's not being clear, if he's not being decisive, if he's not being that sacred masculine energy, that sacred masculine man, then she loses that trust and kills sexual polarity. Because now she's like, well, I basically have to become the man in the relationship as well. And you basically have two masculine energies trying to be in a relationship with each other. And there's a sense of neutral stagnation, kind of like what's going on here. Your sexual intimacy just completely falls off. So if this has happened to you, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're currently going through this right now, one of the things that you can start doing is tapping more into your divine feminine essence, okay? So singing, dancing, laughing, expression, whether that's crying, going to see a movie, chatting with your girls, feeling the flow of love through chocolate. Remember, the feminine is fueled by love, feeling love. When love is cut from the feminine's life, it feels completely empty and it will do anything to feel that flow of love. The masculine is about freedom, accomplishment purpose, knowing about the mission and where it's going and how it's going to get there. So if you're a man and you're trying to step more in your masculine, be willing to make a decision, be clear, be structured, be positive and certain about where you're going and how you're going to get there. And those are kind of just, you know, really beginning introduction phases to masculine and feminine energy. But right now I feel a shift happening on our planet where we're honoring more of that feminine essence because we've repressed it for so long. And because women carry more of the feminine essence, they have kind of been told that, you know, you don't really have a place in this world, but I don't, I don't agree with that. I think that women have a beautiful place and so do men. I think it's about harmonizing the masculine and feminine energy coming together as one. Because remember, masculine and feminine doesn't mean that we're separate. It doesn't mean that we're dualistic. It means that we're still one. We're just learning how to balance these energies within each other so we can have a harmonious relationship because ultimately that's what people want. So realizing that maybe when you're a woman and you're really in your masculine and you go to connect with your masculine partner, you might not have a lot of sexual polarity. You might not have a lot of sexual intimacy or sexual play. So rest more in your feminine. If you were at your office all day, you're out building business all day, you're at a job all day, maybe you're really in your masculine and you come home to your man, be okay with trusting and letting go that he's in his masculine as well. And if you don't flip out of that script and get more into your feminine, you're not going to have a lot of romantic intimacy. And ultimately, the feminine wants that. She wants to feel the love. And he wants to give her that love. He wants to be that present consciousness space for her to open her heart and be brought forth to God. And obviously, she has to want to do that for herself as well. But a masculine partner can help a feminine open so deeply. And a feminine partner can help a masculine open so deeply because just the touch of the feminine to a masculine person can open him when he's really rigid, when he's really grounded and structured and he's be all business building all the time. Because once again, if he's too much in his masculine and doesn't have that feminine flow, then he will feel like a sense of stagnation. Like he'll become stale over time because it can almost become like a sense of like boredom, right? The chasing freedom all the time. That's why he will do anything to gain that sense of 
feminine energy, whether it's nature, nature is a very feminine mother nature, it carries a very feminine vibration. The flow of beer, the sound of music, dancing, and even the touch of a beautiful feminine woman, her beautiful radiance can refresh him. It's like almost like a reset to a masculine man. And women know this too, and that's why they dress the way they do, and they, they wear their hair a certain way, and they, they make their makeup look so beautiful, because that is the feminine radiance, okay? Masculine men are attracted to the feminine radiance, and the feminine women are attracted to that masculine certainty and decisiveness and presence and his purpose and his mission. So men really have to learn how to be in their sacred masculine while holding the space for the feminine to feel safe because if she doesn't feel safe and she doesn't trust your masculine energy, she will not open her heart to you. She may open her legs, which I do not recommend she does because when you do that, you give away a lot of your power and that's your sacred space. She may open her legs, but she'll never open your heart, her heart to you if she doesn't trust your masculine energy, okay? And he also wants to see your feminine playfulness. He wants to see your dancing. He wants to see your crying, your laughing, your screaming, all of it, okay? He wants to feel like he can ravish you. He wants to feel like he can claim you as his. But you have to be willing to surrender to that masculine partner. And I'm not talking about a sense of control or domination or manipulation. I'm talking about beautiful, divine, God-surrendering love. Thank you so much for being here on today's episode. I hope this episode brought you a ton of value. It really warms my heart to be here in this present moment with you. If this brought you value, feel free to share it with someone you love, someone you care about. And please, I ask you, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, leave a rating and review, because when you do, when you leave that rating and review, you help me further reach more people. And by the way, I am so excited for my next spiritual retreat. I just wanted to throw that out there. If you didn't get a chance to sign up for this one and make it to this one, sign up at jakewitter.com forward slash coaching to be a part of the next one, because I'll let you know when it's coming out, but I'm so excited for that. Thank you so much. And as always, stay open, stay grounded, and stay connected to that beautiful source within you.